in our last video we have seen how to call the ALV factory method with the user defined types now let us try to create a hot hotspot for one of the field MATNR which is material number so for this we will we'll be taking the same example but creating the hotspot for the material number in the output so actually this is the output see here the mouse is same for every field let us create a hotspot i think you know what is hotspot let us create so for that we will be del deleting this line and and now declare two references to the classes there are two classes special classes available cl salv columns table this is for columns instance and one more lr column type ref to cl salv now it is just a column no s column it is a single column table and this is column instance this is the local reference to the type class which contains the columns of the table and this is the local reference for the single column now now we will call a method get columns for this click on the pattern abap object patterns and now instances and the method is get columns see the method is generated now give here lr underscore let me put in caps lr underscore columns i'll be explaining the code once we have written and executed the program so don't worry about that now write if lr columns is in shell is not in shell we are calling the super class is equal to question mark is equal to symbol here let me zoom it for you this symbol is for calling the method from the super class as you know lr column we are calling the method get column and setting it to the material number getting the material number because we want to make this material number column the hotspot and now call the method using the pattern about check patterns and here lr column we will be calling it from the column class we don't need this because we have created the reference and now the method is set cell type we want to set the type as a hotspot don't worry about this you will be learning it uh, through the experience first just follow what i am saying and try to replicate the same in our programs in your programs you will be slowly understanding each and everything when you get the experience in working with it so for now just replicate the code enter the class the class name is 
cl underscore salv underscore co lumn column table so now we will be uncommenting this the value is equal to here we will give hotspot and now we will call lr alv call the method display space and close let us check for any errors so before that we should have to end if and now check it there is one more error uh, okay it is a period missing here now let us check everything is fine activate in execute it first activate it execute the program let us see whether the hotspot is available see now see this column is showing the hotspot if i move the mouse here material number we have successfully made the hotspot and we can write the program what happens when we look kick according to our requirement so this is the code how we will be creating the hotspot the for, for the hotspots we should have to declare two reference variable of classes columns table cl salv columns table and cl salv column table these are the two classes available and after that we will be calling a method lralv get columns get columns is the method written in the class cl salv table because we have created a reference lralv of type that class we can call it through this this reference and get columns and we are passing the values lr columns here lr columns is type ref to the columns table the class and if lr column is not in shell and then lr col this symbol is for calling the super class method this you would be knowing if you know the object oriented abap and now we are calling the method get column and setting it matnr which is material number so we are just getting the column material number and now setting this material number as a hotspot and displaying this using this method display method so this is how we create a hotspot hope you understood see you in the next video